the players you had on the bench, the attacking players against Sevilla, but because of the injuries you've got, the players you've left, when you looked at the, the bench on Wednesday, you didn't have many, let's say, experienced attackers. Um, you've got the injuries. I know it's a challenge, you're not going to moan, but is, the, is it a concern that you may be you're a lot lighter than you have been in recent seasons with regard to you know, squad depth for experienced players? So how, how can you... Yeah, we'll see what happened. Julian, Julian uh, had the problems. It was in discomfort, otherwise we would have played. Julian is becoming so important for us. But have a discomfort, they wouldn't want to take risks. That's why it was for 50, 20 minutes. And especially his incredible penalty taker in terms of personality. That's why he played the last minutes. And of course, Bernardo will be back soon. Next week, we'll be ready. So, uh, but yeah, we, we are talking a lot with Chiki, what we have to do. I don't know with Cole what happened. And, and maybe we need yeah to add some, someone else. But in the same time, you know, my opinion, I like... Uh, a short, but the blow from Kevin changed a little bit the perspective. You know, Kevin is a really, really important player, and we don't lose him one week, two weeks. So with four months, five months, 22, 32, 33 years old, is a team he needs to be, be physical because his actions are so. It's not actions like I would say I don't know Bernardo or more. He needs pace. He needs. So you have to reflect. You know, a little bit the squad and thinking about it, what uh, what what we have to do. But in the same times, in the same time, the market is the market, and you have to control everything because, uh, uh, yeah, we are not the only one. Manchester City spend a lot of money. Looks like apparently in the last years. So, but looks like Kevin's obviously a unique talent. How do you replace him in the market? No, it's, there it's, are players. Like they, no, there are players that are not replaceable. There are players that are not replaceable. So at the end, Kevin, Kevin, when when we go to the market, no, not to replace Kevin. Kevin is with me, and we'll come back in January, February. Will be with us, and next season will be with us until the end of contract or extend. I don't know. Will be with us. So it's not copy paste. Okay, Kevin is not here. I mean, I knew Kevin De Bruyne is not about that, but maybe. Maybe we will need, or maybe not. We, we will see. We are, we are talking, and we will see what uh, uh, what happened. How um, how difficult have the club found the transfer market this summer? Do you think it's getting more and more difficult as the year goes on? is easier than us. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> I could not be sit here if we spend with Chelsea. I had to spend in two transfer windows. You will kill me. <laughs> you will kill me. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> will be under a scrutiny like you cannot imagine. We could not be part of the Manchester City at all. I know. Yeah, just look the expand net in the last five, six, seven years or even this year in the position that we are what well, looks like. And that is issue I like a lot. Like when the people say well, Chelsea or whatever team must buy this player. Manchester City just by Guardiola paid uh, by the players. I didn't know I have a lot of money in my pocket to buy all the players I have. So, as I said, everyone, so at much, uh, we have to see. We have to see what happens in the market. If we are able to do it, we'll do it. And, f and of course, trying to follow or what always we have done to, to pay what we believe is fair. Uh, because at the end, we want a Maguire, didn't find him because we didn't want to pay. We want Cucurella, we didn't pay, we didn't pay. We want Alexis Sanchez, we didn't pay. So at the end, we're going to pay what is first to do it. Otherwise, we have the academy. We were lucky for the academy. We in two transfer windows. We won 80 million pounds for just the players that didn't stay. We have a new players in the academy, two or three, that they will be top. Have to take care of them, otherwise they will stall them again. So, and at the end, we have to spend with the young players like Jusko for the next four, five, six, seven years. I think the club is so smart doing what uh, what they have done because, of course, everyone will do it like Brighton. You know that, everyone. But we play here to win the travels. We are here because the demand to win every single game and playing a fantastic game, many, many, many things. So and that's the strategy is doing and Chiki Ferran, Haldun and everyone, Omar, is doing a good job. And uh, if it's possible, we're going to do it. If not, we will see what happens. That's why I cannot assure anything we are. We will not be desperate to do something where we don't. We don't believe we have to do it just to have one more, more player. There are a lot of clubs. They have to get rid of a lot, a lot, a lot of players 
because they have 35, 36, 37 players in the squad. Lone players come back. We don't have that problem. That is so nice. And that's why the strategy they have done in the last years. So last year we have a spend net, we won. And the spend net last season, we won money. We want to travel with that. That means the club is working really, really well in many, many things. I can under I understand the, the strategy of not wanting to overpay for a for a player, but given what's happened to Kevin with the injury, it, it feels imperative that you probably do need someone in central midfield. So is now the time. But, to but spend it a little bit extra. Phil can play there. Uh, Maka can play there. Kova can play there. Bernardo can play there. He's coming here. Maybe we need more of the wingers because Cole play there, but Bernardo can play there well. Phil can play there too. So there are four or five players that can play in the middle now. That is so, that was so blessed. It's more a question of numbers, you know. Like James has said, maybe <coughs> we're a little bit shorter. I like short, short. I don't like to have give players at home in the weekends. That is unsustainable. I don't want to have a important players every weekend at home because they are not selected in, near even in the bench being a lot of players I want the perfect numbers that being the bench help us in the Carabao's and FA Cups and Premier Leagues and and I had the feeling right now you know we are falling down so a lot of injuries small injuries small injuries it happened because the schedule is the schedule so it's the schedule looks like yesterday we're in Istanbul we have to be honest it looks like we're yesterday in Istanbul and we are here already. Play, we have already played two finals and we are there. And John Stones, he takes care of himself incredible. One of the highest professionals there. But he needs to rest. And he has no time to rest. And that's why a little bit the groin, a little bit the hamstring, a little bit here. Kevin could have need more time, you know, to recover. But it's what it is. So we don't have time. And this is the problem that we have to, to think about it. Hopefully we can... We can, you know, we can, yeah, do it. Sorry, just back to Chelsea spending. Are you surprised that they just keep, they seem able to just keep spending? No, absolutely sure. not. Huh? They can do whatever they want. I'm not criticize Chelsea one second. I'm saying if we do it, we are dead all around the world. They can do whatever they want. If they can do it, I have a relation with Top Boyle. I met him, and. <laughs> I'm glad what they do. Of course they can do it. They can do whatever they want. If they want to want, they spend 930 uh, million pounds since they arrived. We want to hand them more, hand them more. If they have it. So the business is the business. And they sell a lot this season. So if they can do it. I don't like when they criticize me what we, what we do, what I have to say. Everyone has his own business. And everyone do what is the best for the club. You know, And everyone do it. And an Arsenal in three weeks spend three incredible players. But they want to beat us. Because our standards are there. <laughs> and they don't want Manchester City won again. And they want to buy top players to compete with us. It is not, we would do it. First season, we didn't win. And the second season, get rid of 10 players. They buy Kyle, Benja, and all the players spend 200 millions. You know, in that transfer market, I think so. But not every season we have done it. But it looks like it just, just we are as... That is how the people, the mindset, have to start to change it. Everyone spend. Everyone. Everyone here in Spain and everywhere, a lot, not just Man City, and they can do whatever they want. As much as the financial is correct, that UEFA approve it, and now I'm waiting the Premier League what they will decide. Every club they do whatever they want because they play for the fans. They wanna do the best football as possible for the fans. They wanna win the titles and every season getting better and better, and that's normal. Everybody wins. Tell me the truth. Are you enjoying a lot with the transfer windows? Yeah. Uh, this player, the other one, it's like uh, during two months, <laughs> Sky Television is new player here, new player there, here, there. It's so funny, no? I would like, I would like to be shorter. I would love to have finished the transfer window before we start, but it's what it is. But imagine now in Saudi Arabia, they finish later. Imagine now arriving, now I want to have five players here. Everybody complains about the Saudi Arabia, but the clubs, Saudi Arabia knocked the door to all the clubs, opened the door, red carpet. What do you want, my friend? I sell everything. <laughs> they are so happy. Yeah? I complain, yeah, for everything. But everyone is open the door. Open the door. In this league and in other leagues, I complain about that, but after they make a deal. You know, make a deal with Saudi Arabia or whatever. So, the reality is the reality. Everyone try to do the best. Everyone. Everyone. And step by step, not just Man City. You know? Win just for it. We want 
because we have a lot of players spend a lot of money like everyone but there are a lot of war behind this it's not just the money win the travels my friends I'm so sorry you want to defend the crowns and tomorrow start uh, Pep through all this how important does Phil Foden become to you and the squad I mean you get the feeling now that this is his moment would you agree with that Phil is a reality uh I said many times, he loves football, and that is an incredible advantage. He will play every day. And uh, like he, has to, he has to improve, he can improve, he want to learn, he will learn uh, to be... At the end, we forget, you know, the impact was incredible, but he has 22, 23 years old. <sighs> so young. I won already five Premier Leagues. Uh, four or five, uh, Champions League won everything, he's a national team. Uh, you know, his private life has to be more important. Getting better, he can do better, and he's a player, can play in three or four positions, and his mentality is really good, so... He's an academy player, for us he's a, like a Ricola, with like Cole Palmer now, like uh, many players. You cannot imagine, like, you know, Romeo Lavia now, you know, is living in Chelsea, and Joe Tra Trafford in Berlin. So the academy is fucking it's so good. So many, many, many incredible players are playing in that. So the academy helped us a lot to be sustainable in our club. We are grateful. The first team for the academy, thank you so much, how they help us. And there are two or three or new, four new players in the academy that will help us this season to, you know, to maintain, to maintain our level. Joe Cancelo, he, I mean, he has can play in central midfield. Um, he's not been in your squads. Does, does that mean that his future's likely to be away from Manchester City? Joe Cancelo is still with us. I don't know right now what's going to happen. I don't know. Can, also, can we just ask if the, you're aware, is the Lucas Paqueta deal, is that not, not going forward? Paqueta, I said before, with my Brazilian men. Uh, it's play with him and I don't talk to players and other teams. Never, ever have done and never would do it. Thank you, guys. Okay, thank you.